Welcome back. Lots of things going on out there this morning, but for now, while we're in parts of Park Falls, we're looking pretty good out there, though. A little bit of traffic that was going through earlier, but now things are pretty quiet at this point. But now we do have some wind that we're going to be watching out for. Again, we have it going right now. Goes up to 15 to 25 miles per hour possible again today as it turns more out of the northwest. And then by tomorrow, look at this. Winds out of the north going toward the south. Perfect for lake effect snow getting up to 20, even 25 miles per hour at times. A little bit of accumulating snow cannot be ruled out with that. But now there is some snow and some frozen precipitation on the back line of this line of rain showers that continue to track off towards the east, though. But it's out of our viewing areas, so we're no longer worried about that particular line. It was going through earlier with just some snow showers there. But now, again, we're done with that one. But really zooming things out, the, our attention now turns not only to Lake Superior, which is, which is wide open to support lake effect snow, but we're also watching this little system right here. This is another area of low pressure tracking to the south and east, which will tap into Lake Superior. So on top of the synoptic snow, which is what this is, right here. We'll get lake enhanced snow and then eventually lake effect snow, which is why we're watching for some accumulating snow in a few areas, including that winter storm warning and parts of Ash and parts of Iron County, excuse me, and the weather weather advisory in Ashland County. So Ashland County winter weather advisory, Iron County winter storm warning, because they could see up to three to ten inches combined between these two counties, courtesy of the lake effect snow. But here's the big picture right now, though. We have this cold front right about in here that's tracking off towards the east as well. We're on that back area, though, with this area of low pressure that continues to track to the east, which is why the snow will begin for us later on. Our average high being 42 degrees. We're nowhere close to that for the next several days, only making it in the upper 20s to lower 30s, so about 10 degrees or more below average for the next several days moving forward. So definitely starting to feel like winter around here, especially with the snow beginning later today. No accumulating snow today. Tonight it starts to kick in a little bit. So our northern counties might see a little bit of this starting around 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon period, but later on tonight it really starts to get going with the winds out of the north going toward the south. And some of these snow bands can get a little heavy from time to time, too, so that's why maybe an inch or two cannot be ruled out. The ground is still rather warm, so it might take a bit for some of the snow to stick, but again, even through parts of Saturday, we'll keep this rolling before it starts to back off a little bit as we head towards Sunday morning. So how much snow already? So not much today, though, but really as we head towards Saturday, we'll see the most accumulating snow with up to maybe an inch in the Rhinelander area, maybe an inch or two in parts of Vilas County areas to the north of Highway 8, and with parts of Vilas County, especially to the north, seeing up to maybe two to three inches before we're all finished up. And closer toward the lake, though, here it is right about in here. Some areas can see up to maybe three to maybe up to 10 inches, maybe 11 inches in a few spots. That's the beauty of lake effect snow right there. A lot of accumulating snow within a narrow, narrow area cannot be ruled out. But that forecast would say, though, lower 30s on its Veterans Day, mostly cloudy snow showers, mainly in the northern parts of the viewing area. That west wind getting up to 25 miles per hour. Becomes a little more widespread later tonight. Snow showers, some minor accumulations as well. Lows in the lower 20s with that west wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour. And that Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven day forecast. So here you go. So more snow continuing as we head towards Saturday with smaller chances Sunday and Monday. Most of us may stay dry with temperatures only in the upper 20s to lower 30s. More snow showers Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs in the lower 30s with a slight chance of snow again as we head towards your Thursday. So finally starting to feel like winter across the Northwoods.